It's a Kirby vacuum cleaner. It's a Kirby Avlier 2017. It's a G10D, I believe, is the model, and we got some accessories with it, which I'll show you in a minute. Now, let me tell you. I just was trying to run this just now, and I want to, I want to try to show you how it works on this carpet. I don't know if you can tell. I just did a little streak right there in about the middle of the camera, right there above the W, <clears throat> and it, you know, it picks up quite well. <clears throat> and I'll show you that right now. Let's see. You can see some dust and du dust, <laughs> some hairs and stuff like that on the on the rug there. I think you can. Now, something I'm gonna go ahead and tell you. This is very important. Please listen. This right here, and I'll show you again when I start showing you through these accessories. It's a very you. It's it's it's. It doesn't look bad. It doesn't really look bad. I mean, look. It looks pretty clean up here. But it's a very used vacuum cleaner. And what I mean by that, I I don't know how much like how in years and time or anything like that that has been used, but. I noticed it's been used to do some maybe cleaning shampooing I think where there was dog hairs or cat hairs or animal hairs because that's in the uh, shampooer and it has somewhat of a smell I notice when I'm running it right now kind of like animal hair so if you're not okay with that if you you know we don't have the means to pressure wash it or you know take it apart and clean it here if you're not okay with that, this probably isn't the right item for you. I'm going to just go ahead and be forthcoming, be upfront about that right there. This does have an animal smell to it right now when I'm running. I don't smell it unless I'm running it. I didn't even notice it at all. But when the air gets to moving through it and everything, you can smell that it's been used to deal with animal hair. So let me turn it on, and I'm going to show you if it'll pick up. show you something you lock the uh, you can lock the handle right here so that locks it back I want to show you the bottom of this so you can see better the condition you can see there's some hairs and stuff in there um, and you can see there's a g10d is the model okay so from here you can see maybe get an idea of the use of this or how much has been used like I say I mean, it's really not bad looking up here. And uh, this thing's pretty heavy right here. I, I, I don't know. Um, but this is what I noticed right off the bat. So here's a, a box of accessories that comes with this vacuum. And I don't know. There's a lot. You got a, a stand right here. It's got a crevice tool. You can see it's been used good bit another second crevice tool 
also shows a good amount of use. Here's another attachment. This looks like a, a brush that turns. So it's a Kirby Turbo. You can see the Model 2. You can probably see it better than I can. 293514. Here's a sprayer. I think that goes with the shampoo. Um, looks like it might be missing the tip. Everything's as is. Here's a small attachment. There's a book, an owner's manual. Here's a red piece. I'm not sure what that does. There's a video DVD. I guess owner's manual. There's another brush attachment. So you can see there's a lot of attachments. There's a triangle shaped attachment with the brush on it. There's a small thing with a filter on it. I'm not sure what that does. I saw one of those the other day and I was trying to figure out exactly what that did. Now, so all of that. A lot of pieces there. There's a lot of pieces there that all fit in that stand. If, except for that piece that was in there, but kind of filled it up. It was in there. It'll go back in there. It might go back in there. Maybe, maybe not. Probably just set it up here for now, okay? So I'll set that up there for now. Now, this has been very important. Please pay attention. I want you to see this. This thing, I cleaned it out a little bit. The best I could with the tools I had to work with right here. But you can see it's got a lot of animal hairs in there. Somebody, I'm assuming they had a dog, and, you know. And it's really in there. That's where I couldn't really get it out of. I got it mainly from here. I mean, you still see there's still a lot around this brush and all. But here's where I couldn't really get it from. I don't know if you can tell. There's a lot of hair in there. It doesn't smell bad. That doesn't smell bad. And I didn't notice the vacuum is the vacuum cleaner was kind of like there's a hardwood floor cleaner. Uh, that's what it down hardwood floor cleaner. Here's a reservoir it looks like, and you can see there's some hairs in there. I guess that I don't know if that collects. I don't know much about these. There's another attachment. There's a lot that goes with this. There's a lot of attachments there with this. I don't really see a model on this. There's another one of the red pieces. And then you have this attachment. I, I guess that, I'm not sure what that's for. I, I'm gonna guess that's probably right there, probably for the hardwood floors. I'm just guessing, I don't know. And there's another brush attachment. It looks like it attaches to the bottom of the regular vac. That's what I think, I'm not even sure. And I don't know if this collects the dirt right here. If you're watching this, you probably know more about it than I do. Um, but this is the main piece right here that you can tell has been used for that shampoo. In. But uh, those are a lot of attachments to go with it, okay? And you saw the vacuum works good. The vacuum, I mean, there's, I mean, really, it, it does, it works good. Okay, so it's a used Kirby vacuum. It has definitely been used. If you're allergic to animal hairs, definitely don't get this. Okay. That's the Kirby.